And John, what are they doing to prepare for the trip? Well, Stephanie, Police Commissioner William Bratton made a statement the other day that between the visit of Pope Francis and the UN General Assembly, the city will have, quote, about 90% of the world leaders in the city at one time, unquote. I have not been able to verify his math in that regard, but what I can verify is that the city has undertaken massive, if often inconvenient, security efforts. People that drive or commute to work with driving, it's going to be a really, really hard time. Parts of New York City are being locked down for the Pope's two-day visit. We believe that this event is going to be the largest security challenge that the department and the city have ever faced. That's because the Pope won't be the only VIP in town. United Nations dignitaries are coming here as well. In addition to the Pope, we will have 170 confirmed world leaders in this city. The New York Police Department, along with members of the FBI, the Secret Service, and 48 other agencies have been rehearsing for this day for months, practicing their response to everything from a bomb to a power outage. We'll get everyone involved in this. This is one of eight security command centers where police will monitor the streets and the now restricted airspace. As of today, the NYPD says it is deploying an additional 6,000 officers as well as 1,200 patrol cars. They have the resources they need, they have the equipment, the personnel. On Friday, the Pope visits Central Park, now fortified with miles of fencing. There'll be 80,000 people in Central Park on Friday. There is the added challenge of protecting a man who likes to mingle with the people. If we could, we'd keep them in uh, as tight a bubble as we could. That, uh, But this uh, Pope has made it quite clear as he's traveled around the world that uh, that's not what he does. And Friday evening, Pope Francis celebrates Mass with 20,000 people at Madison Square Garden. The venue just happens to be right on top of Penn Station, one of the city's busiest transportation hubs. How are you going to move? How are you going to do this? We've seen all kinds of things in New York City. We'll manage it and, uh, and we'll go on. By most estimates, about a million and a half people commute to work in Manhattan each and every day. About half of them through the aforementioned Penn Station right across the street from us here in Manhattan. So there will be some hard commuting days ahead for people here in the city as Pope Francis makes his visit. But as one woman put it to me on the way over here, it's the Pope. Yeah. We will manage. <laughs> Stephanie. We will. Uh, John Henry Smith, thank you.